Good morning, everybody. I am back in front of the camera. I decided just to do a what sold for the week and the weekend haul because I did that giant thrifting haul video. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe with this winter storm. I'm here in Michigan. So I had an unintentional snow day today. Um, I called into work because I couldn't get my car out of the driveway and I couldn't see the road uh, at all. So I hope everyone else is doing well. I hope you're having um, some hot chocolate or some hot coffee and staying in and enjoying a bunch of YouTube videos or maybe you're getting some listing done. I had, I've already gotten 10 listings up today um, just on eBay. That also includes my Facebook, uh, Macari, and on Etsy because they were all vintage salt and pepper shakers. So it's a total of 40 listings I did today. <laughs> and it's only 1.30 which I'm pretty sure I said good morning, so good afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn you around to my uh, computer and I'm gonna share with you what sold for the week. So first up we have a vintage uh, music button. This is a light activated uh, insert. What it does is when your craft opens up like a music box, it creates the music. This is actually a music box dancer sound clip. I had it on sale for uh, 15 percent off only because I've had it for a while it is one of those things that didn't have to go on sale but I put it in the sale anyway this I got for free from my mother um, with a big lot of stuff she gave me also I do want to mention uh, in previous videos I have said the word estate from my mother and as a request from her personally I do need to say my mother is live <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw out some pictures of me and her here real quick um, but she is alive. I just used the term estate because she was moving and she was getting rid of a bunch of stuff and she asked me if I wanted it. I said yes. So in fact, it is just a giant lot of stuff. It's not a, a deceased estate. My mother is very much well and alive. I do love her and I appreciate that she watches all of my videos. So hi mom. And moving on to the next item. Um, next is the ASICs. Uh, GT 2000 running shoes those sold for full price $29.95 with uh, expedited priority shipping I have just switched all of my stuff this week over or all of my new stuff over from 99 cents to 95 cents um, just a little thing that I'm trying out I don't know if it's helping or not but time will tell um, these were a US size 9 and uh, these came out of the Goodwill blue box mystery shoe box is a dog toy it was new in the box I did remove it just to take pictures of it make sure it was clean and all the items were there this also came from my mother for free this sold on a 5% off sale I do have a tiered sale running right now I got the idea from Lonnie at uh, shed flips and garage flips I just have I've been selling for about four years now I do have some old inventory still um, from that time which is really if I could do a yard sale right now, um, I would, and I would just go through my inventory and take all that stuff out. Um, but right now, I don't have the capability of doing that. So what I did is I just, um, I went with Lonnie's idea of putting everything on a tiered off sale. So that's why you'll see the five, uh, um, just based on the time frame of how long it's been listed for. So this sold for $14.24 with priority shipping. And yeah, I got that for free. So that was a nice little profit there. Next is a Wild Republic uh, ring-tailed lemur that came from the Goodwill uh, plush box. You probably saw me unbox that recently. That sold on Macari for, uh, I've had it listed for I believe $13 and uh, sold it on a best offer for 10 plus uh, first class shipping. Uh, second thing on Macari was a Gaffa pink teddy bear, also came out of the Goodwill blue box. And that sold on a best offer from 10, uh, they sent me an offer of eight, and I took that. And that sold also with first class shipping. That is the end of the Macari sales for the week. Um, I did have a little bit of a slow week, mostly because I, I wasn't listing a whole lot. I've been kind of overwhelmed. Um, this week just with like working, experiencing a little bit of a slowdown. I think that's just typical for February and March. Um, once summer comes up I, or once it gets a little warmer, things will start picking up. But I did actually sell quite a few things today. 
um, most likely probably because I listed 10 items first thing this morning. I sold three items on Facebook this week. Ironically, two of them were penguins, so you'll see those coming up. The first one was the penguin salt and pepper shakers. I sold those for $12 um, plus shipping. Second thing sold on Facebook this week uh, was a penguin TY Beanie Baby. Its tag was messed up, um, but overall was in good condition. Um, for those of you that believe Beanie Babies don't sell, they do sell. They're not worth what everyone thought they would be worth, you know, 20 years ago. But this one sold for $6 plus, uh, plus shipping. And they usually do sell um, for me, but they're always on the cheaper side. And last thing on Facebook this week was something I got from doing some retail arbitrage. Um, picked these up, I think, for, I think it was about 50 cents a piece. They were the only ones in the store. So I picked them up. I decided to lot them up together. Sold them for, I believe, $9 plus shipping. Um, that was pretty easy to ship. I did them in bubble wrap and shipped them out in a poly mailer. So that's it for this week. I appreciate everyone who watched my video today. Hopefully you're enjoying this voiceover. This is the second time I have done this. My first ever video on YouTube was a voiceover and it probably didn't go so well, but this one went a little better. All right, everybody. So thanks for watching that with me. I enjoy actually making a voiceover. It's kind of interesting. Um, I did go ahead. I think I might've mentioned it two videos ago I or if I mentioned it I ordered a chesty which for those of you who don't know is a GoPro chest harness um, during that last thrift video or my first thrift video I had the GoPro attached to, with a clip to the cart and it wasn't the experience I would like to be shown on YouTube um, I wanted to be a little cleaner a little more informative I know what being attached to the cart you can't really see everything I'm seeing um, so I want to go ahead and change that and that's why I ordered the chest harness so that way I can you know attach it to the front of me and you will see exactly what I'm seeing you'll see the shelf you'll see the things I'm looking at you'll be able to see me research comps if you're into that sort of thing I like watching the thrift videos on YouTube and I like seeing what everyone picked up so sometimes I'll just watch just straight uh, point of view thrifting videos and sometimes just watch what people got so that's why I broke up those two videos I also broke them up just based on the time frame so if you could uh, leave a comment down below on if you like videos that have them combined with both thrifting and the haul or separated with just the thrifting and the haul separately I would love to read your comments and see uh, what you think and you know try and implement that into my channel I just sold another salt and pepper shaker yay this day's going great for my unintentional snow day so i'm gonna sign off and i appreciate everyone who watched if you heard some barking that's because everyone is out there snow blowing and my dog uh, lily can't get enough of barking at them through the window <laughs> bye everybody